wanted to be here, Ava. Do you want to be here? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Our Ava is a little sick today. So, uh, yes, there she's complaining. We, we had a very long night <laughs> with Ava being sick. So, but anyway, the show must go on. And we are here today, this morning. It's Tuesday, right? I got my days right? Yeah. What's the date today? 13. August 13. Okay, very good. The Gospel of Jesus is from St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 to 5. And then, uh, well, it's divided in two parts. There's also chapter 10, verses 12 to 14. Okay, so let's read it. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? In answer to that, Jesus called a child over, placed it in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly father. And the gospel continues on. But I want to comment on the first part. Where our Lord says, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Of course, this might um, be a little difficult to understand, right? And, uh, and um, what's the name of, these, of this... Um, um, there's another passage where our Lord says, unless you be born again, eh, uh, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Being born again in the spirit, of course, is what that meant. And then now being like children. So what is it with being born, with infancy, with being children that gets us to heaven? So our Lord here is not talking about uh, physically being like a baby again okay? like our Eva but our Lord wants us to understand that to get to heaven we have to have the simplicity the humility the transparency of children and we have a perfect, perfect example in our midst of how it is to be childlike. Okay? Not to be childish. That's different. To be childish means to act like a baby. Okay? But to be childlike means to have the disposition of a child. To have the attitude of simplicity, openness, humility, transparency of a child who knows no complications, who, who, um, who does not project one image of himself or herself and yet inside is actually different. For a, in a child, what you see is what you get. Right? The way a child is, is that's exactly what he or she uh, wants to express. That is what our Lord wants us to become. And why does our Lord talk about being childlike? When do we, when do we uh, lose being that childlike spirit or that childlike attitude? You know, we lose it. We lose it when we lose our innocence. We lose it with sin. We lose it 
when we start thinking too much about ourselves. We lose it when we start focusing too much on what we like, what we want, how we look, how we feel, uh, what we want to do. Um, you know, it's, it's the I, me, myself attitude, okay, that eats us up and, and, and creates this, this kind of barrier that makes us distance ourselves from other people and the focus we should be having on the others and on serving them. Okay? We, we tend to focus too much on ourselves. And when we do that, when we do that, we get too concerned about how we, how we present ourselves to the world. So we lose our transparency. We lose our being ourselves. And we tend to copy uh, other people and we tend to mold our personality after our certain idols and certain people we idolize and so we lose our our real identity and we try to be like others who many times especially for teenagers like yourselves already are not the best models that you should have growing up okay and speaking of teen, teenage uh, kids like you, like half of you at least in, around this table, uh, this is the age when you start being complicated. This is the age when you, when you start losing your simplicity. <clears throat> because this is the age where you <clears throat> tend to focus too much on yourselves, on what people think about me, on how I can blend with the others, with my peers, or how I look, or do I look, uh, uh, do I look uh, in, you know, with, with the trends and with, the, with how people are uh, nowadays. See? We, actually, we actually lose our own identity because we want to look like the others. And if we don't look like the others and act like the others, we become troubled. We become disturbed, okay? and we become protective of our identity, of our uh, uh, selves, of our looks, of our thoughts, of our feelings, of everything that is I, me, and myself. And that way, we lose the simplicity that children have. And the problem with that is... Plenty of people don't overcome it. They remain teenagers forever. <laughs> okay? They, they, they forget uh, how, how a childlike attitude uh, is and, and, and the pleasure that simplicity, transparency, humility brings to one's character and to one's person. So, this is what the gospel wants us to uh, be aware of. Okay? Now, how do we combat this? How do we uh, bring back that childlike simplicity that maybe once upon a time we had lost along the way or we are beginning to lose, especially those of you in this, uh, in this age where uh, you get plenty of temptations about how to focus on yourselves, right? So, well, the first the first thing we need to do is to be to be truthful. Okay, truth, truth, humility is truth. So, if we are to be humble, we have to be truthful. We have to face reality and be realistic with who we are and 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 how we are before God. What is more important in this life is not how we look, how we feel, how other people think about us. That's not what's important. What's important in this life is how God looks at our souls and how we appear before God. And that requires being truthful about ourselves. Understanding ourselves, understanding our weaknesses, understanding our struggles, knowing our strengths, knowing our capabilities, and having a good balance 
of knowing who we are. And instead of patterning ourselves, uh, 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 you know, with the, with the lives of others and using other people as a, a measure of of how we fare in the world and how we look and how we are, we need to refocus and look at Jesus. Jesus is the only model of how we have to live our lives. Jesus who is meek and humble of heart. Jesus who did not come to be served but to serve. Jesus who came to us as a little child. Okay? Who was poor. Who didn't think about himself. But who always thought about others. Okay? We have to be truthful. Sincere. With ourselves about who we are. That's the beginning of it. Okay? We have to be truthful about our dealings with other people. We have to deal with people with sincerity, with openness, with transparency. Okay? Not like opaque plastic that uh, you don't really know what's inside of it until you open it up. Right? So, truthful in the way we deal with others. We have to be truthful about our capabilities, about our strengths, about our weaknesses, without pretensions. We don't need to pretend that we are what we are not. Okay? Pretensions is, is the, favorite, the favorite temptation of the devil. Because the devil is the father of these guises. He wants us to, to, to uh, cloak our incompetence, our defects, our shortcomings with something else that we are not. Okay? We have to avoid that temptation at all costs and just be simple. Because, because the lack of transparency, the lack of sincerity, the lack of truthfulness leads to... Huh? leads to telling lies that's the first that's the first big temptation that kids like you many times fall into and even grown ups by the way lies 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 many of us many people live their lives in a lie why because they couldn't quite <coughs> make sense of who they are <coughs> they couldn't quite come to terms with their own defects, with their own shortcomings, with their own sins. That what they do is cover up. What they do is put a facade so other people don't really see who they really are. Okay? We put up all sorts of defenses. Because we are incapable of dealing with our own defects. We are incapable of dealing with our own shortcomings. We are incapable of facing the truth about ourselves. And that is a pity. So our Lord reminds us in the gospel today, be like a child. Look at that. Look at that baby. She doesn't care, right? She's just herself. She just does what she does, which, you know, whatever comes to her, there's no complication. She doesn't have to put up any facade. She doesn't have to, to, to pretend being somebody else that she's not. She's just herself. Now we can do that too. We can do that. We don't need to be childish, but we can be childlike. Be humble, be simple, be sincere, be truthful. Today, as we prepare for Mass and as we hear Mass and go to Mass this morning, let us be reminded of what our Lord is asking all of us here uh, to emulate. Okay? The childlike simplicity of of a child because that is the way to heaven okay our lord says okay unless you turn and become like children you will not enter the kingdom of heaven okay and we are going off to mass this morning uh, please please pray for pray for uh, those who are sick uh, ava is a little sick today <laughs> She can be noisy, but she's a little sick. She kept us uh, busy through the night last night. And let's also pray. Uh, I'll ask you uh, again to pray for other friends of ours who are uh, who are sick and you know who they are. Uh, maybe in particular, let's pray for Dr. Anna. 
uh, who is still in the hospital today so that uh, she gets better okay so have a good day everybody we'll hope to see you again tomorrow morning at breakfast time with Gospels by Dad. Don't you like that name? Gospels by Dad. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.